Meal prepping can be pretty intimidating for pet owners who are new to raw feeding. If you're not sure where to start or you're just curious about what goes on into meal prepping for raw diets, in this video I'll be showing you how I typically like to prep for my dog. I like to have a variety of at least two to three cuts of proteins when it comes to my bone-in and organ meats, just to give some variety. So this week I'm using chicken necks, dressed quail, and dressed silky chicken. For organ, I have pork liver and rabbit kidney. For muscle meats, I try to have at least three to four different proteins, sometimes more. I have pork loin, beef heart, chicken gizzard, and beef and chicken hearts. I just got a whole mackerel, so I'm going to add this into a few meals throughout this week for added omega-3s. I start out with weighing each bone end cut. Matsu gets around 0.9 ounces to one ounce of bone in each meal, um, but sometimes you may get a little more or less depending on the cut. The quail is a little under his bone intake, so I add in a little piece of chicken neck. It's okay to balance over time, so feeding a little under his bone intake would have been fine, but if I can help it, I try to give him his daily allowance. I've actually never fed a silky chicken until now. The silky chicken skin and meat are completely black, which I've always thought was interesting, and it was a perfect size and really easy to cut up. Next, I move on to organ. So Matsu gets around 0.5 ounces of liver and 0.5 ounces of kidney. I weigh out each cut and add into each bowl. The rabbit kidneys were kind of still frozen together, which is why it looks like that. And there were actually some rabbit hearts in there as well, which was a pleasant surprise. Now onto the bulk of the meal, the muscle meat. I cut up the beef heel, beef heart, and pork into the appropriate sizes and add them into each bowl along with the gizzards. So what I do is weigh the bowl by itself, then I add in the contents I just put in. Then I just add in muscle meat until the scale reads nine ounces, which is around 2.3% of his body weight. I do feed a bit more during weeks that he's more active, so sometimes it'll be 3%, but on average it's 2.3. I then move on to cutting up the mackerel into sections. Each piece um, is about 1.5 ounces, give or take, and the dosage for fish is one ounce per 35 pounds, and matsu is 25 pounds, so I just give him a few pieces throughout the week. And fish does not count into the muscle meat portion itself, fish is its own category. I don't often do this next part unless I'm meal prepping for travel, but I thought I would show you guys anyway, just to see if it's something that you would be interested in doing so it's less work during feeding time. So each evening I give Matsu his herbal flea and tick powder, kelp, powdered green lip mussels, and this week I'm also giving him raw Vita Boost for zinc since I'm out of oysters. They're powdered, so I mix them into raw goat's milk and I pour it into his bowl and freeze. To finish off the meal, I add in his frozen pureed veggies, bone broth, and myoglobin. This is also something I add in the moment I'm feeding rather than while I'm prepping just because they'll melt. Not like that would be a problem, but Matsu likes to crunch on them, so I keep them frozen. After I finish prepping, I close everything back up and bag the leftover meats. I hand wash the knife and cutting board, then I put them in the dishwasher. I put everything back in the freezer except for his meals for tonight and tomorrow. And I always make sure to clean all surfaces thoroughly and wipe down with a rag. I hope this was somewhat helpful if you're wanting to start raw feeding and feeling a little intimidated. Some people prep for weeks out, some just a week like me, and some don't even prep, they just put the meats in their fridge and prep the day of. You'll fall into whatever groove works best for you. 
If you liked this video and want to learn more about raw feeding, check out these videos on the screen.